Uh, but as I was saying, like, my armor is now better than it was before, because thanks to the 1.14 enchanting system, which apparently is getting reverted in the next update, I'm not entirely certain what that entails, whether it's just fixing the enchanting table situation of giving you bad enchantments, or if it fixes everything. Uh, but at the moment you can stack protection enchantments, like protection, blast protection, projectile protection, and blast protection. Oh, I think I made, said blast protection twice, fire protection, the other one. Um, it stacks, you can stack them up, uh, so you can get some really good armor. Which basically makes you invulnerable to damage, apart from like physical damage, and I guess magic from witches or something. I think protection helps with that, but not that much. And yeah, so I do have that on my armor now. I think the only thing I'm missing is thorns. I kind of don't want to put that on because otherwise Alex will make me burn it. So, because that's a thing he does. Doesn't like people having thorns. So, yeah, I'll skip on that one for now. But I think I've got every other enchantment on there at the moment. I spent quite a while in the Enderman farm getting enchanting books to put on it. We have a mending villager though, he sells it for like 35 emeralds at the moment, because villagers are pretty uh, pretty mean these days. I will say. There was that water bug that was a thing that made it really easy, but that's fixed now, so can't do that. And there's obviously, you can get Hero of the Village by doing raids, but we haven't the problem we're having with those is, well, we haven't actually seen that many pillagers around with uh, banners. And also because people are settled in that area. Oh, gosh. This is kind of awkward. There's a skeleton over there. Urgh. I need to clear this water. Oh, I'm not going to be able to do this. Alright. Oh, I'm on the... God damn. These guys are lined up perfectly to get hits in. Okay, we're good. Proper teamwork there from that skeleton and zombie. Apart from the uh, skeleton shooting the zombie a bit, but other than that, teamwork-ish. Then again, uh, when we end up in... Oh gosh, shovel. Didn't have one of those, so it's an upgrade. That's in better condition than my uh, stone one anyway, so double upgrade as well, in that sense. Better shovel that's also in better condition. Wow, this has been a lot more eventful than I thought it was going to be. I was thinking it would be a lot more just sort of, you know, jumping to me fighting diamonds and that would be kind of it for the mining strip, but <laughs> everything's happening. It's just a constant fight. Um, I might do more of these, actually. Because I suppose the mob cap has a lot to do with it. Makes it a lot more sort of intense, in a way. Uh, we'll have to see. What happens with that? Oh my gosh. This is going to be interesting, actually. If we play with anything like this mob cap... See, I'm currently playing with the idea of doing a survival island kind of Minecraft series with someone. So that could be... as an upcoming thing on the channel, perhaps. Uh, something fun to do. If we play with this kind of mob cap on that... Wow, that's going to be ooh, um, quite a challenge because there's going to be so few actual, like, there won't be like any surface mobs really because we're probably going to torch up the island straight away because we're pretty good about that sort of thing. Yeah. Stay away. Um, so they're all going to be underground and it's going to be like a real challenge going through caves. My gosh. Oh, hello. Can that creeper uh, maybe help a bit? Thanks. Yeah, it's like this is pretty pretty crazy. I mean, I, to be fair, I am the only one on at the moment. Ow. So it's not... You, know, you guys fight it out. I'm just going to stand here and enjoy the competition. I like how they aggro on each other more so than on me. It's kind of interesting. It's like the, the moment they shoot each other, they're just like, oh, hang on, mate. We're not having that. <laughs> not having that at all. But they, they treat each other as more of a threat, even though they were allied like two minutes ago. 
kind of want to kill the enderman, but at the same time, there's not a lot of points. We do have an enderman farm now. Yeah, I'll grab one. Oh gosh, don't. I didn't want you to do that because now I have to fucking sift through all this shit. Oh, diamonds. Okay, it's not as shit as I thought it was. God damn. Right, uh, I want that. Uh, is there anything useful there? There's a name tag, that could be fun. Uh, what do I can dump? Andesite? Oh, melon seeds, that's also good actually. Because I haven't found a jungle yet. Do we have melon seeds at the other place yet? Even... I don't think we do. This might be the first melon seeds we've found. I'll bring some of them back actually to the um, community area. Because we need them for villager trades. And also for um, health potions. Not that that's that important because we're not on our uh, UHC rules, but... Hmm. I'm not really sure what I'm going to do with this. This is a lot more than I thought it was going to be. I might have to do like a kind of like two-parter type of episode. Like mining has been quite a bit more eventful than I expected. <laughs> what the hell? And I walked away from that cave earlier. I'm still nowhere near done. This is madness. I was really not expecting to find this much stuff. Oh, hey, buddy. Oh, hey, other buddy. Do you want to help? Thanks, mate. Alright. Yeah, let's just pull her up. Oh my gosh. Iron. I'll just pick up everything at this point. I've got five more diamonds because of all the um, chests, I suppose. It's actually another level. Oh my gosh. And another chest. Wow. We're getting really lucky with these chests. Have I increased the mob cap for chests as well? I don't think I have. I mean, they are friendly creatures, so you never know. Oh, hello, buddy. Stop. You don't seem to want to blow up very much, that guy. Kind of nice, that. Normally creepers just like to explode. Just instantly. We'll level away at 8. So that lava could be... Above us, it sounds like. Yeah, it's definitely above us. I think it must be one of those wall, uh, one of those um, little fools coming out of a wall somewhere. Watch a bunch of gold. Nice. We're not in a mesa, are we? <laughs> mountains. Ooh, mountains. That means they could find um, emerald. Potentially. Or is that only extreme hills? Or is extreme hills related to mountains now? I can't remember. I think. It's related to mountains. Because at 1.13 they relocalized everything. In fact, that's not even localized, that's just <laughs> Minecraft Call on Mountains is not a localized name. So I, I think it is Extreme Hills. I think this is underneath where my where I want to put the castle later on. Um Am I gonna be able to find my way out? That's another question I don't know the answer to at the moment. We'll find out. Later, I guess. Where is this water? Do I want this redstone? I don't need that. I haven't got a um a cleric yet, so it's no need to trade. Oh my gosh, it's never ending. I'm definitely gonna have to come back here at some point, I think. But I don't want to stop mining at the moment. I just I'm just so surprised there's so much stuff here. I thought I was nearly done, like, I don't know, when I said that it was a really small mine shaft, and then went to mine bloody those diamonds, and I was like, this goes on forever. Oh my gosh, it's still going. What is going on here? Really seems to be the endless mine shaft. Oops. Wow, this is this is something I definitely have never seen before. Literally in the bedrock, level three. This is really weird. I'm going to get a screenshot of this. This is going to be the thumbnail. Go for it. Nice. I'm putting that in the thumbnail. I've never seen that before. 
No, I've also dated the video. Fucking six in the morning. It's the only time I can go on when I'm not going to be, like, asked to go and do something <laughs> cooperative, basically, at this stage. How did, oh my gosh, there's a dungeon as well. <laughs> what is this? Oh, whoops. I'm very... Oh, that was, I'm... I don't even know what to say. I'm just so distracted right now. Everything's happening. Let's go on. Go again. It's a zombie spawner. Okay, that's not too bad. I could be turned into a drowned farm, actually. That, uh, fuck off. Get away. Ouch. Alright, we're good. <laughs> as soon as the baby zombie turns up, you're like, do I panic? If I panic, then I'm gonna die. If I don't panic, I might be okay. Ah, oh, and the creeper blocked the chest. Oh my gosh, hello. Do you mind? Yes, 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 do your thing. Oh, cool. Um, mossy cobblestone. Not as valuable as it used to be. What the fucking... That's the one enchant I'm missing from my bow at um, my main base, so I'm going to take that and I'm going to put that on there. I'm not too worried about like bringing enchants over from he bringing stuff over from here to there. It's going the other way that I'm not going to do until we get to like endgame gear. Um, so I'm kind of okay with that. Emeralds, yes. <laughs> Oh, wait, why am I doing that? I've got like two bows that I'm never going to use. Just one emerald, right? Yep. Oh well, I fulfilled my villager instinct to pick up emeralds. Or oh, one, I guess. So I guess that is sort of my new role. Life seems... Hello, zombie. I don't know what I'm going to title this episode. I'm assuming this is going to be episode three. Of the, oh, two at this point, sorry. I forgot I did. My, my sword's nearly broken. That's how many mobs I've been fighting. Nearly broken an iron sword fighting. Oh, there's another bloody chest. Oh, I have broken my sword now. Did I blow up the chest? Thankfully, no. Oh, another emerald. Pumpkin seeds. I'll put the minecart away, for sure. Uh, the minecart? The um, furnace. I've gone... Six in the morning. <laughs> Although I seem energetic at the moment, more so than I was last night, I think. Oh, not last night. Whenever it was, I recorded that it was not last, but... I don't remember. Short-term memory is a... Uh, or even long-term. Memory in general is uh, failing me. These things. Oh my gosh. Okay, I need to make a new sword. Uh, do I have enough iron on me? I do. Let's do that. Let's make a sword. Inventory is very full right now. Uh, okay, I don't need all this cobblestone, realistically. I mean, it's nice to have, but at the same time, I can't really be carrying it around with me. Iron shovel, or in fact, stone axe, go away. Right, cool. Two, oh, one. Sack that up on the floor. Leave the crafting table there because I can't carry it. This is. It's just the mineshaft that goes on forever. That's all this is. I really wanted this to be just a, you know, kind of overment thing. You know, I had like 10 minutes to kill at the end of the last episode. <laughs> and I just wanted to fill in like a little bit of mining, you know, just a couple of eventful things that took place. But no, I'm not allowed to do that. I have to go find the world's largest mineshaft. That it's full of mobs. And then just keep going. Well, I'm not going to complain because it gives me stuff to talk about. But at the same time, <laughs> I am also going to slightly complain. Oh, I might actually get a record. If that skeleton follows, which is not. Oh, it is. It is falling. God damn. Damn that skeleton. Where's he going? 
don't know why he wasted an arrow. They are on hard, so they shouldn't really be missing me very often. 30 levels. I mean, 10 levels then. So I started on 20, I think it was, when I started up. Or 21 or something. It's around that. How much iron have we got? Almost two stacks. You know, despite finding the world's largest wide shaft, I haven't found that much stuff. In terms of, like, ores. It's mainly just been loot. Um, like, we only found, actually, five diamonds the entire time I've been down here. Just I can't chests. I guess redstone's pretty decent, but... And lapis. Oh, skeleton again. Hello, buddy. Oh, hello, other buddy. He's got an enchanted bow and then three buddies. I'm gonna have a fight. Don't know. Oh, my shield's broken. That's bad. No, oh, no, that's bad. Run away. <laughs> Hang on, I need to. Oh my gosh, this is just. I need a new shield. I've got an iron on me, so it's not terrible. That's a zombie. Okay, it's not too bad. Okay. Do you want to, like, maybe not attack me right now? I need to make a shield before I go too far. Yes, I can hear you coming towards me. Stay away. Thank you. Alright, chuck that on the floor. Nope, that's not what I wanted to chuck on the floor at all. I'm energetic because I'm having to stay alive. Not that that's like really very difficult, it's just constantly things happening. Alright, cool, we're good. Just littering crafting tables throughout this mine shaft. I mean, I think that's reasonable. Stay back. Stay, stay back. Me. Mm. Nee. I mean, having 29 gunpowder after our first mine is a, pretty much a testament to the number of things we've fought <laughs> ready. Uh, could I dump anything else on the floor? Like, cause I might want to get a third stack of iron, just because. We don't have an iron farm yet, and I don't know when we'll be getting one. I suppose I could jump, dump the wood on the floor. I could turn it into, into uh, sticks. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Suppressed a sneeze there. <laughs> It's gonna not as bad as it sometimes sounds, but yeah. All right, what do we got? Another chest. Anything fun? Well, it's getting a bit more uh, crap. These chests, eh? I'm running really low on carrots. It's not great. It's not great at all. Oh, hello. You wanna fight? Oh, they're three. They're three again. Good. Cobwebs? Hello. Alright, uh, good. So, uh, let's get out of here. Or well, not out of here, but to another area. Have I been down this way? No, this is where I ran to after that creeper and three skeletons broke my shield. I hear lava this way. Or do I? Am I imagining things again? There is lava that way, but it's probably up that way. Because it, no, no, it'll be down because it's 14. Not that interested in that. Anyway, I want to find diamonds. Uh, ideally. Right, I think things have started to calm down a bit, so I might go back to cutting to another moment, but we'll have to see what happens. Next time I go into an unexplored area... Is there one here? No, I think we're good. I think... okay. It's chill, it's calmed down a bit, so I will see you guys shortly. Okay, I think... I've actually cleared the mineshaft, finally. Uh, how much time has it been since I last recorded? Oh, it's only been 10 minutes. Maybe it wasn't that much more to do, but... Yeah, that's a, that was a thing. The endless mineshaft of, uh, oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> wow, thank you, Cobweb. I, if I hadn't got stuck in you, I wouldn't have seen that. Uh, what the hell? That was 
Oh my gosh. Hello. That was convenient. Um, 11 diamonds. That's actually a pretty decent amount for a first mine, uh, to be honest. Oh no, there is more. Damn it. That's oh, not much. Okay, it's fine. We're good. That was almost like perfectly timed with me restarting the recording as well. Um. <laughs> right. Let's see if we can find our way out then. I think. Oh no, there is more. Damn you, game. Stop making this mineshaft go on forever. <laughs> we had a decent amount of downtime. And now it's like, there's still more. Good. Still more. Hmm. Right. Oh my gosh, yeah, there is quite a bit more. Well, there's two down bits. They probably don't go that far. But you never know, there might be more diamonds. I don't know. Yet. I wish I did. That'd be cool. I don't know whether I could whether I should even bother going into them. This goes down. All the way to the bottom. Again. A lot of this mine shaft really goes into the bedrock, I'm shocked. That probably means there's a hole in the bedrock somewhere around here, I would have thought. Actually, well, I suppose that depends which order it's placed in. Is the mineshaft placed first or the bedrock? I'm guessing the mineshaft seeing uh, the bedrock's placed first, seeing as there are, like, meshing. I don't know. No, the bedrock must be placed first because um, the tunnels are, like, actually proper tunnels. So they must have carved them out of the bedrock in regard to, like, the world generation. Yeah. Okay. That's, that's enough of that. Thank you. Okay, yeah, it was not too bad. Just the two tunnels that go nowhere. Alright, let's make our way back up, uh, if I can find the way. So this was a rather uh, accidental episode, but I'm kind of, kind of happy it happened. I'm not entirely certain how I'm going to handle like some sort of outro for the first one. I might just record a little bit <laughs> when I get back up. I don't know. Um, oh, hey. Hey, buddy. Do you want to... Not explode on me? Yeah. Can't have everything, I suppose. Right, uh, let's see. Just fill up that stack that I had on me. Just because I can. And see if I can find the way out. Okay, this is the room, so I need to go up there, I think. If I'm not mistaken. This is the way out. There is iron up there. How much iron have I got? <laughs> yeah, I got, I got three stacks out of it. Uh, I could fill that up. Why not? It's there. I'm probably never going to come back in here. Oh, it's literally only the one. But yeah, but I'm, I'm probably not going to come back here. I'm going to probably convert... Well, I say convert. Do what I was originally going to do with my staircase, which have it go straight down um, into a strip mine tunnel. That was the original plan, and I think I'm going to stick with it. Because it's usually a pretty effective strategy. Um, especially now that you can do the um, the lying down strip mining, which is, although impractical and it makes it a bit messy, you do get an awful lot more stuff out of it. Oh yeah, we were we smelted up this stuff as well. Uh, let's see. I don't need these sticks. I'll get more. I need to more stuff than that. Now what else can I throw on the floor? Forty-three bones. Madness. Uh, nine torches, yeah. I'll get more. Alright, cool. That's actually a really effective, uh, efficient... Uh, I'm saying all the wrong words here. <laughs> Very effective mine so far. So cool. And I built the staircase tall enough to put stairs in, but I haven't got enough stuff to make stairs. I could... I will kind of want to make a stone cutter for that, because that makes it more efficient. Because you get the one-to-one -to -one -to conversion instead of the, what, six to four situation. As you can see with the miners there. Not bad positioning. I relit the portal as well, because I had to go back to community area. And I'm actually okay having that now, because we have enough materials to actually have had a portal at this point, effectively. So yeah, pretty good. Let us um, put the stone away. Hello cat, how you doing, buddy? I need to name this cat, I don't know if I have a name for it. <laughs> I've got name tags now, so I can actually name it as well. That's the thing. 
but I don't have a good name. Yeah. Something we can work on. Awesome in this chest, sure. Uh, that's good. And I'll put, I'll put all my minerals in one chest, shall we? Just for the time being. Coal as well. Anything in here that's mineral related? Nope. And um, we'll put like other crap in here, I don't know. Is that in there? Sure. I'll have a proper sorting system when I've actually established myself properly. Um, but I'm actually pretty happy with how this has turned out so far. Hey. Alright. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Phoenix uh, Vanilla. Or two episodes, I guess. <laughs> it's uh, been a bit more uh, of a uh, challenge than I was expecting going mining now. I probably shouldn't have been surprised, but uh, that things would be a bit unusual. I mean, I would have found a cave eventually by strip mining, I guess, but didn't think it would be uh, the infinite mineshaft of potential death, but not actually death, thankfully. There's a scout in my village. What a guy. Okay. So between this episode and the next one, I'm probably going to build a little sort of proper staircase going down from here. And I'm going to think about what I want to do. Hmm. I could start working on a villager breeder, but that would require me to learn how they work. Um, I'd also probably set up some defenses as well. I guess I can get to work on an automatic sugarcane farm and try and get some cows over. I think there were some cows over by the the swamp that's over that way, so I could probably pull them over and we can start working on getting an enchanting setup. That would probably be wise. And then maybe going to the nether as well. Yeah, that seems like a reasonable plan. Okay, I think that's what I'll do for the next episodes. So anyway, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode so far. Yeah, so far. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. <laughs> what am I saying? And I hope to see you guys next time. Goodbye.